Hey guys Hi. and welcome back. So today we are doing another in our Pinterest inspiration series which if you haven't seen them already it's basically talking you through some of our Pinterest boards that are on our Pinterest account which we'll link below but we've got loads of stuff on there. Hannah's been in charge of curating the boards and they are amazing so whether you're looking for inspiration for flowers, dresses, venues, anything, um, you will find it on there. So on there. literally it's massive. Is amazing when you're wedding planning. Yeah. So it's the first thing you need to do is create a Pinterest account. Yeah. Work out what you love. It's brilliant. Yeah. It was definitely one of my favourites to look at really when fun. I was getting married. So today we're going to be talking about um, wedding venues. And if you are getting married and you don't really have an idea of what kind of venue you want, then we hope this will really help. So we've got five different boards varying from more traditional venues, more unusual venues, and like outdoor venues, things like that. So we're gonna talk through them now and we hope you guys enjoy it. So starting up with barn weddings. Now barns seem to be coming up all over the UK at the moment. There's loads of barns popping up as venues. Some of them are incredible. Yeah, so I think a lot of people real... are like doing up old barns and like that they have on their venues. property, yeah. and. It's a I've been to some amazing barn weddings where they have the most beautiful kind of beams and everything. I think it's a really nice way of doing like a more kind of traditional format wedding, but in somewhere that is a little bit more casual in setting and a little bit more kind of outdoorsy. Um, so you're kind of halfway in between having a marquee and or doing something outside and being in a kind of hall with a beautiful kind of conservatory or whatever. So if you're looking for like a rustic theme, it's kind of perfect because you can tie it into everything. So your venue matches everything else, which I think can look really cool. I think what's quite nice about barns as well is that you can use them as a reception venue, but also you can have your ceremony in them. And there's some really nice images on here, especially um, of the all white one at the top where it really has that kind of church vibe to it, but you are in a barn. So it's a little bit less formal if you don't want to get married in church. I think it's a really nice alternative. And quite often the venues will have different barns that you can get married in one and then move through into a bar area and either they'll turn around that first barn for you if you don't want to pay for an additional barn or you'll then have a separate reception barn. Yeah. So your kind of guest is getting an amazing experience kind of being taken around into different venues which can be really cool. Something that's really fun to do as well is this kind of coloured lantern kind of balloon style because you've got that height I think you can add some really fun kind of depth and dimension to what's yeah. going on in the room. And that's not that easy to do in marquees because you don't have such a huge kind of Expansive ceiling to be able space, to do it. Whereas yeah. you really can like all different heights and create such an interesting look. And I love this If you this want one. to add colour in, it's a great way to do it. The other thing that's super nice are the trees with the fairy lights. I think that looks so Midsummer Night's Dream, yeah, very kind I of love it. pretty and kind of whimsical and just really, really beautiful. Hanging big floral displays also looks great. So if you can hang from the ceiling and like bring it quite far down and have a big floral display, I think they look great. There's some amazing ones on here. I love the, the letters lit up which work really well. I think lighting works really well. The fairy lights and the kind of just open light bulbs look really good. Yeah, because barns. barns are quite dark. Exactly, I think you do need to use quite and a lot of yeah, lighting. You can get really Candle good lights. Candlelight obviously is great many candles as you yeah, can Yeah, I in. love this vibe as well with the kind of hessian um, ribbons. Instead of having that satin kind of formal ribbons on the back of chairs and things like that, it works really nicely if you're getting married in a barn to have something a little bit more rustic as well. Yeah. So there's loads of beautiful things on this board. If you're thinking of a barn wedding, you can, you know, the beautiful exposed walls, walls of fairy lights, things like that. That obviously works in a lot of venues, but especially so in barns because of the kind of, it's quite dark, like yeah. I was saying. Hessian and lace works really well as well in this. We've done a get the look theme video with Hessian and lace and I think that look works really well inside a barn with lots of exposed wood and gypsophilia looks really good as well with just the kind of splashes yeah, of white. So it kind of looks really pretty. It's that kind of vibe isn't it? So our next theme is outdoor weddings. If you're thinking about having an outdoor wedding, less common in the UK because we can't really rely on our weather. Um, but we have also done a video like this all about um, festival weddings as well. So if you want to see that, it's a whole separate kettle of fish, which is really, really fun. Um, but outdoor weddings, I think, just give you such great atmosphere. If you are lucky enough to have the weather, we've been to a couple and they've just been yeah. absolutely amazing, especially if you are in a really beautiful location, if you're, you know, on a beach or on a a cliff by the beach or something like that. It's just absolutely stunning if you can yeah. do it. There's some amazing Italian outdoor weddings. It's yeah. so beautiful around Tuscany. 
Again, fairy lights make all the difference with outdoor spaces, in my opinion. Um, I also love creating like flower arches or light arches yeah. or creating foliage spaces arches. in an outdoor setting, I think just works so well. So whether it's a frame or some kind of big structure, I think they just work so well, yeah. kind of creating something within your outdoor space. And it's also something really good to remember. If you are thinking about um, budgets and things like that, if you do get married outside, even if the venue is a little bit more expensive, you actually have to worry a bit less about how you're decorating it because if you do have an outdoor space, you obviously don't have the walls, the ceiling yeah, exactly. to decorate. So if you've got this stunning backdrop of, you know, I went to a wedding in South Africa where they had a beautiful, which we actually have as a real wedding on our channel as well, yeah. where they have a beautiful kind of mountains and vineyards and background, you don't need to look at anything else yeah. when you've got that. It's so I think there. bear that in mind. Like if even if it is a bit more expensive to get married there, if you need less decor, that will save you money in the kind of long run. Exactly. Some of these just look amazing. It's just chairs with the view. It's yeah. Amazing. And one of my favourite ones is also this woodland wedding, which I think getting married in the woods is just such a kind of magical idea and concept and you can make yeah, it look so atmospheric and kind of dark but romantic at the same time. Um, the scene in Twilight where they get married springs to mind in this because they're like very much like in the woods and it's just so beautiful and there's a really gorgeous and image here. the strings of the big light bulbs I just love, so just string them across to make an area so cool. Yeah, so lovely and you've got that kind of atmosphere already done for you. Um, obviously there's a lot more kind of traditional um, beach side weddings as well, there's lots of inspiration on here in terms of flowers, gorgeous flowers and um, creating a space for the actual ceremony as well which is really common if you get married um, outside and you have your ceremony outside um, and a lot of people like to do it that way and I think it works really nice if yeah, you don't want a religious wedding, it's such a nice way to do it. Um, I also love the hanging, like almost like the long hanging of lights from trees as well. It makes for a really good photo. There's a gorgeous wedding photo there of um, a couple standing under a tree. And then our next theme is more kind of traditional country wedding, which is marquees and teepees. Which is obviously big for weddings and it's a great kind of space. You can basically create whatever you want, can't you? Yeah. It's a kind of blank canvas, really. I think the great thing about with. marquees is you can have a little bit more vision of what you want to do. However, you have to create all of the atmosphere yourself. So it does yeah. end up actually, even though you think, oh, it could be quite basic, it ends up being potentially a lot more expensive than having it in a venue because if you want to create any kind of structures or kind of flower, like any kind of floral, any, anything that catches everything. your eye, you have to bring in Every to the market. Every bit of furniture you have to take in with you. So there's nothing that's just there, is there? There's no kind of table to put something on. You have to put the table there yeah. to put it on yourself. So it's a totally blank canvas. But great fun. Great fun. We both had our weddings in marquees and I think it does give you the option to create exactly what you want. Another thing to bear in mind with marquees as well is how much atmosphere you can create with kind of light and colour and you can really kind of think outside the box when it comes to marquees and I think that's what's really interesting about this Pinterest board is it gives you some ideas that aren't necessarily conventional. I love this where they don't have a roof but it's yeah. you've got the marquee frame and the drapes but you're missing like the sections in the middle, so it's kind of like indoor, outdoor. It's great. So or is it's, it glass? It's, no, it's a see-through roof, so it's like a, an acrylic roof. But you see that a lot, but you don't see it with the drapes. No, you can just add the drapes on yourself, which is it's I love amazing. That. With a marquee, you can pretty much just do whatever you want, can't you? Yeah. And I think it's good to be bold, so make bold statements. So if you're going to do something, do it in a really bold fashion. So if you're going to have... Um, floral displays hanging from the ceiling, make them really big and put in loads of greenery, which doesn't make it that much more expensive, but really bulks it out. And if you're going to have drapes, have big drapes that really kind of create yeah. drama rather than kind of doing little bits because it's easy to lose a lot inside a market. Yeah, because they do tend to be space. quite big empty spaces when you start out as well. So that is a little bit more of a kind of traditional venue option. And if you want to check out more images definitely head to our Pinterest because there's loads on there but we're not going to dwell on it for too long in this video um, because it's yeah. it's such an open book like you could go on for ages about kind of marquees. Um, the next one is hotels um, slash halls, halls like old houses, venues. more traditional wedding venues if you want somewhere a little bit more um, kind of structured somewhere that perhaps you don't have to do quite so much work but if you don't mind not having such a unique wedding they also have um, wedding planners on site as well, most of them. So they'll have people there helping you with everything. They'll have their caterers, their florists, 
so they'll basically put it all together for you and be yeah. there on the day which is a great thing so to useful have. and i think what's really nice about getting married somewhere that is a venue for weddings is that you know they have that in mind so they will have everything laid out where it needs to be toilets they've you know entry they've, they've done, done it all before well. very organized and what you can get is beautiful kind of traditional detail that you don't get anywhere else so if you want a more kind of traditional like slightly old-fashioned but in the same way just beautiful wedding you can hire such amazing amazing spaces and if you just look through this pinterest board you get an idea of you know what why you would want to get married in an old venue because you do get that real kind of an amazing few wedding detail. photos as well so having a, a your wedding photo in front of an amazing venue does look great yeah i love a lot of these um images actually have kind of a lot of very very light spaces as well so think about that in terms of the vibe you want to go for for your wedding when you're looking around venues do you want something a little bit more cozy and dark and intimate or do you want somewhere very light and airy and summery mm -hmm. also depends on the time of year that you're getting married but some of the beautiful old kind of conservatories and orangeries that they hire out as part of wedding venues are just such a beautiful Amazing option spaces. they give you that vibe of being in a marquee because you get lots of light it's kind of that indoor outdoor thing but it's obviously the detail is so much more kind of elaborate and it's already there for you and then last but not least the pinterest board uh, is unusual wedding venues and obviously if you want somewhere a little bit more unique that's not going to be like anyone else's wedding they've ever been to there's some really fun ideas there's some on here crazy ideas on here i mean you can basically get married anywhere now the it's first one amazing. the cave I wedding it. i love this idea that i mean i think you have to so be cool. a certain kind of personality to go down this route so you have to be a bit wacky maybe anyway and as a couple, you'd want something that nobody else has done. But you can literally find the most amazing things. There's forts, warehouses, there's whiskey vaults, which is amazing. You can get married on a cliff top. Aquariums. An aquarium in a Norman keep. I mean, how cool is that? It's pretty cool. Some of them are slightly limited on numbers, which you have to be careful of because you'll be, say, limited to 50 to 80 people if it's a smaller venue. Um, you can't kind of just go wild. No, with your but I think list. it's such a nice option but if you're thinking of having a smaller wedding. I think it's such a cool option to have it somewhere totally different. You know, maybe it's a little bit harder to organise. It's a little bit like diff more difficult for people to get there and things yeah. like that. But if it is a smaller wedding, you've got to think the people who are going to be coming are probably going to be well, much closer to you and they'll really want to come. So you know, and it'll if be you're something getting... they've never seen before. So yeah. it'll be like a real wow factor, which is what you need for a wedding isn't yeah, it yeah it's so cool there's like a lot of this kind of old-fashioned romany um caravans and things like that I would be so them. cool and you could put everybody up in those um there's a windmill getting married in like botanical gardens getting married on a, a fort in the middle of the ocean i mean i've never I seen anything quite totally like that before bonkers. There's loads of tree houses as well popping up. So you can I get married in a tree house cool. and then they have little villages that all the guests can stay in and they're really cool. I think that would be so cool. Really cool. In a zoo, in a monster, yeah. the uh, animals. On the if London you're Eye. an animal lover. On the London Eye. Um, an animal themed wedding in a museum as well. I don't know how you go about hiring, like, could you hire the they Natural hire, History yeah, Museum? They hire a lot for events. I bet that is amazing. Yeah, like from the wedding in Natural History. That is amazing. Yeah. That is it for our Pinterest inspiration board video for venues. We hope if you're looking for some venue ideas or you're not really sure what are the options for venues, we hope this video has helped you. Definitely head over and check out our Pinterest um, account and see all the Loads different... of inspiration on there for everything. I mean, so I don't even know how many boards we've got at the moment, but there's ridiculous. a lot. There's a lot of Pinterest boards if you're looking for some inspiration. And we'll see you guys again very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.